how are you on your journey, on your transformation? Let me just tell you, I'm headed to Jamaica. <laughs> Is this a solo mom vacay or with the kids? With solo mom, with my girlfriends. My birthday's in July, so Uh-oh. this is a birthday trip. And what do they say? Stella got a groove back. It's like Tio got a groove back. Okay. I cannot wait to just have a great time. Um, and I am, thank you. And, you know, I'm really, really enjoying this journey of solitude. <laughs> Sounds like a girl's trip to me. Sounds like a girl's trip to me, Jamaica. She's probably going to get one of those Jamaican mud baths or the mud scrubs. These chicks love Jamaica, man. While Corey Hardrick is out here, fully recovered from his divorce, killing it in the game, making more money, Of course, his ex-wife is enjoying her solitude. Welcome to The Coffee Pod. My name is Chishu Zed. So guys, I've been saying this for a while. Maybe you see it as time goes on. The men and women out here who believe you can graduate from marriages, particularly the women, right? Of course, they look at someone like Tia as a blueprint on how to go from marriage to living your single life post-divorce. She says she's got a TV show coming out just about that. She doesn't say it's about life after divorce, but you can tell that it's about life after divorce. Um, I have a reality show that's coming out. Um, this We're ready, yes. Yes, and it's all about me just attacking this journey alone, to be honest with you. Um, and I feel like it'll be really relatable. Um, I'm all about inspiring and encouraging women, women empowerment. Thank you. And it's, it's I'm encouraging people to... Leave marriages. <laughs> I mean, you hear Tia talk, bro. She would, she would talk like she just accomplished the biggest thing in the world. I'm all about inspiring. And yeah, and the reason why these chicks are out here praising you is because they're like, if she can do it, I can do it too. You are screwed if your woman looks up to Tia Mary. Be cur- courageous, strong as they go through transitions in life, whether it's a divorce, whether it's a change in a job, At least you kept a it loss, real. whatever. And if I can be that source of inspiration, then I feel like I am doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, thank you. And I appreciate you. You're, you guys have been so supportive. So thank you. Source of inspiration for breaking up families is crazy. If you're wondering how Tia Mary's dating life is going, we've seen a little bit of how it's going. It's not going good at all. And it looks like she finally gave up, at least for the meantime. Tia needs a king. She did. Yes, she did. So are you looking for that king? You know, maybe a date here or there. She's got that Kamala Harris laugh. (laughs) I will be honest with you. I took a little break with dating. So you were out there, now you're on a break. I'm focusing, you know who I'm dating? Me. Oh, (laughs) what a surprise. There has to be, bro. There has to be a handbook. There has to be a handbook of like things you say when you can't get a man to stay with you in the dating market. You know, I'm dating me. I'm dating myself. I'm discovering who I am. You got chicks out here doing all types of crazy stuff by themselves, dating themselves, Right now, I am becoming the partner that I want. So that takes time. You're gonna attract that energy. No, and that's what I truly believe. So I've been, this is what I mean by I've been in solitude, learning a lot about myself, self-discovery. I'm reading this new book called Be Brave, New You by Corey Allen. Oh gosh. (laughs) Be Brave, New You. It, listen, maybe, maybe I'm in the wrong business, bro. Could you imagine if I went the Derek Jackson route? A lot of dudes wait way too long to get their act together, but then wonder why their girl don't appreciate their transformation. It's because you done burnt out the best of her in the beginning. I mean, how easy. The blueprint's right there. Be brave, eat, pray, love. What do you guys think of this so far? And it has been so fantastic. And I just want to encourage women out there that you don't have to just jump into a relationship and have this sort of rebound. Work on you. Work on yourself. And... Timing will align. It will. And I'm enjoying myself. Now, this next part of the video, you are about to see 
the difference between Tia Mary and her sister, who is married, who definitely does not participate in her activities. You know, to Jamaica, baby. Have fun. That's all I'm worried about. I'm about to, you know, just have some fun, do a little bit of dance hall. Dance hall has been a part of my healing, the music. And so I know I'm bringing my... Dance hall. Y'all have seen those dance hall moves. Some of those Jamaican dance moves are nothing but sex positions. You know I'm right. My girlfriends and my um, cousin, Jerome. Uh, and Tamara? Tamara, she's not going. I know. She's not. She wants to keep her marriage. And she's with her kids and her husband. We have different lives now. You know what I mean? And we're just going to have a great time in Jamaica. All I'm saying is this, man. Tia is really capitalizing on this just iconic mascot for women going through divorce. Hella chicks look up to this woman. For those who are saying that Tia Mari is going to regret divorcing her husband and that she should have stuck it through to give him a chance, don't you think she gave him a chance after being married to him for 15 years? Nobody ever questions when a man leaves a relationship or when he cheats on his woman. Men swear in front of God and their family that they will be with their wife through sickness and health. Yet the second that their wife gets cancer, statistics shows that men leave. The minute a man feels like his woman is fulfilling her roles for him, he is out the door. So why do people always question when a woman makes that same decision? For whatever reason, especially after 15 years of giving it a chance. And on top of being with him during her prime, she also gave him two children and don't forget, picked him up at the bus stop when he was at his lowest and she was at her prime in her career. If after all those ups and downs, the family, the house, and he's been through all of that, if she still thinks he's not worth it to stay married to, then let her be. And two things can exist at once. She could not be happy in her marriage and still acknowledge that the men today are not like how they were before. That doesn't mean you should stay in a relationship that you are not happy in. And if a woman divorces a man, she is clearly not happy. The issue is that men don't want you to be happy. They don't care about your happiness. That's not the point for them. It was never the point. It's going to end in tears. And here's why I really believe that. It's not about me being pessimistic, but more, more about any person whether you're a man or woman if your goal in life is to find happiness and you're chasing for happiness you'd be sorely disappointed because life is not about happiness right that pursuit of happiness is nice as a movie title or an idea in a book but life is about duty it's about commitment it's about finding fulfillment in your life it's not about chasing happiness, a feeling that is fleeting. And until someone like Tia Mari actually realizes that, then not much will change. Listen, I appreciate you. Of course, I'm curious to know what do you guys think. Leave your comments down below. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.